Hi, I'm Sidney Eisner, your Solid Cam professor, and uh, I'd like to do another recording on Cam Assist. Now, if we take a look at this part, this is actually the part I did in my previous recording, demonstration four, the fourth part that I did. But when I did it last time, I did it with a setup for every side. It is a setup, for setup on this side, and I also did it for a setup on this side. Now, in this particular recording, what I'd like to do is actually show how we use it on a five axis machine, where all we need to do is only one setup, and the rest is just positioning. Sort of what they call three plus two. Okay, so let's take a look first at the type of machine I'm using. I'm be using a machine, Hermola five axis. We also have our coordinate systems, if I were to open it up. All I created was my original coordinate system in the middle of the part. And let's also take a look at my setup. My setup looks like this. I'll take the machine view. And as you see, if I zoom in, we actually have it on a fixture. And the stock is actually sitting in the fixture as shown over here. And the machine itself can be turned in several directions. For instance, I can turn this to 90 degrees. And then the machine will turn to 90 degrees. Turn it to minus 90. And it will flip this way. I can also change the rotation of the fixture itself. As you see, I can put that over here also at 90 if I want. I can have it at any single way I want. So this is very good for indexial machining. Now let's take a look at our toolkit. My toolkit consists of tools that are meant to work on this particular part, whether it be your face milling, uh, regular end mills, larger, smaller ones, uh, chamfer mills, some drills, and some more end mills. Okay, so let's get started and we'll see exactly how I work on a five axis machine doing indexial machining. We'll start by right clicking on operation, run cam assist and cam assist starts running and analyzes the part and it sees my fixture. It sees exactly how my stock is. And then I can go to prepare. But before I go to prepare, there's one other aspect I'd like to point out. If we go to our left hand side, you can see we have my shop. And one of the things in my shop is called my materials. What material I'm working on. This is actually very helpful as you can choose from a list of about 35 different materials as to what type of material I am working on. I can go further on in here as well and say, I wanna work on a stainless steel. I wanna work on a 174 pH material. Now go back to the part. Where do we see this? You'll see this in a moment when we go to prepare. So let me go to prepare. And you can see on top that that material is what is being used for this project. Also, we have our three axis mode. As I said, I want to do it in a three plus two with indexial machining. So I'll open this up. And then we have several options over here. I like to point out automatic and user defined. Automatic will automatically find the sides that I like to machine and it does it at its pace. You can also have full control yourself by using user defined. Let's actually take a look at user defined to see how this works. I'll click on that and note what happens in your setup. In your setup, it shows that you can select your machining directions. So let's do that. Now, before I do that, we have one more. It says same direction for roughing and finishing. Well, you know what? I'm looking at this part and say, you know, I want to do all of my roughing from this side, nothing from that side, and the rest will be all finishing. So I'm going to keep it separate and um, I can hide my stock. So make it easier for me to pick my directions. And then I'll go to select roughing 
machining directions. If I click on that, I can click on any surface. I can click on this surface or this surface, and it will show the actual direction, as you see with the arrow, of where my machining direction is coming from. Coming from the top, down here. And that's all I want, so I'm just going to do confirm. Now, with my finishing machining direction, I'll click on that, and I'll click on the same direction for finishing. I do want to do finishing here, but I also want to do finishing on this side. So I'm just going to add that as well. And as you can see, I've picked two directions for finishing, and I'll confirm. Okay, now I'm just ready to run Cam Assist. Click on that, and you can see my Cam Assist is running, and you can see what's being finished and what's being unfinished. Unfinished, you'll have one because the bottom cannot be finished while it's inside the fixture. Okay, we'll send it to our SolidCam package. And as you can see, all the operations are now being created, as well as Mac 1 position 2 for working on this side over here as well. I'm just going to do Calculate. And what you'll see is that everything is being calculated, including the roughing, the floors, the walls, the deburring is even done over here. And let's take a look now at the actual simulation. If I take a look at simulate, let's do this using solid verify. You can see my fixture and my stock exactly the way it is. And now just let it run. You'll see it does the roughing does everything from all the sides and included the deburring of all of the edges. And that's how easily this is done using Cam Assist.